This video is created by Nihar Dash from YouTube. This video is created by Nihar Dash from YouTube. 22 types of Indian breads written by Nihar Dash for public domain purpose only and that prove we live in the heaven of foodies 22 different types of Indian breads wondering, how many types of bread are there in India? There are different varieties of Indian bread such as chapati, roti, naan, thepla, naan, kulcha etc. to name a few. If you are fascinated by pizzas, buns, bruschetta, bagels, baguettes, focaccia, tortilla etc., you must know that your India too has several interesting bread types made in such amazingly creative manner that they act as wonderful accompaniments to any side dish they are served with. Can you imagine an Indian thali without any kind of bread? The humble roti that we eat has even been mentioned in Tulsidas Ramshir at Manas, 1600 AD, when it resembled a katori and was probably called radhika. Similarly, naan is believed to have come to our land from Central Asia, and even the Parathafines mentioned in the 12th century Sanskrit encyclopedia, Manasalasa, compiled by Sumshewar III the then ruler of Karnataka. Here is a list of different types of Indian breads that prove India is indeed a land of diversity and unity, when it comes to food. One puri or puri is a traditional Indian fried bread that is delicious, to enjoy with almost any main dish. It's a simple unleavened bread made from just whole wheat flour, salt, and water. Here I share my puri recipe with step-by-step -step photos, and the best tips for making puri at home, crispy, fluffy, and soft and I bet you love making homemade puri, to enjoy with your favorite meals puri placed on parchment paper table of contents about puri how to make puri about puri a basic puri recipe is made with whole wheat flour, salt, and water. These are only three ingredients you need. A bit of oil or ghee can be added to the whole wheat dough optionally. The dough is not leavened or fermented, so it's a wonderfully quick and easy bread to make. Small balls of dough are rolled and flattened, and quickly fried in hot oil. The puri puffs up to create light, crispy pillows that just beg to be bitten into. Inside is soft and tender, and perfect for using to scoop up a hearty curry. Two luchi is loved by many foodies. To enjoy luchi you have to be a real foodie otherwise the idea of puri made with all-purpose flour and deep fried and ghee will always be at the back of your mind, and you won't be able to enjoy these delicious fried bread from Bengal. Luchi recipe traditionally, luchi is deep fried and ghee. I also know puris are deep fried and ghee in parts of North India, but they are made of whole wheat flour. Whereas luchi has to be made with all-purpose flour, maida. Even while kneading the dough, ghee or oil is used. If you don't want to fry them in ghee then deep fry the luchi in oil, as I did. 3. How to make mixed vegetable pertha Step 1. Prepare the stuffing heat 1 teaspoon oil in a non-stick pan. Add carrot, cabbage, capsicum, spring onion, fenugreek leaves along with crushed ginger and garlic. Sprinkle salt and turmeric powder over it, and saute over medium flame for 3 to 4 minutes, or until vegetables are tender. Add boiled and mashed green peas to the mixture. Mix well and turn off the flame. Let the mixture cool down. Step 2 Prepare the dough. Take 1 cup wheat flour, 1 teaspoon oil and salt in a bowl. Add the vegetable mixture, chopped coriander leaves, chopped green chili, red chili powder, garam masala powder and coriander powder. Mix them properly. Knead until smooth by adding small amounts of water. Grease its surface with little oil, cover and let it rest for 10 minutes. Step 3 Roll out perthas after 10 minutes. Divide the dough into 8 equal parts and make small balls. Take a half cup of dry wheat flour in a plate for dusting. Take one dough ball, flatten it like a patty and dust dry wheat flour over it. Roll out the pear thaw. Step 4 Cook the pear thaw. Place it on a hot tava griddle and cook over medium flame. When tiny bubbles start to rise on the surface, flip it and reduce the flame to low. Spread 1 teaspoon oil around the edges and spread over the pear thaw. Flip it again, and spread 1 fourth teaspoon oil around over it. Step 5 Make more such perthas. Press it with a spatula, and let it cook over medium flame. Cook until golden brown on both sides. Follow the same process for the remaining dough balls, and you have a delicious and nutritious meal ready. Step 6 Ready to be served. Serve hot with a side dish of your choice like butter, curd, chutney, or curry. 4 Non traditional naan in a tandoor. Traditionally, this twice risen dough is cooked in an Indian oven, called a tandoor. A tandoor is a cylindrical Indian club and widely used across Southeast and Central Asia. Wood or charcoal is placed at the bottom of the tandoor, which heats up all the sides of the cylinder. 
this configuration allows the food to be cooked from all the sides at the same time, giving it a distinctive char and a delicious earthy flavor. To cook naan, the flattened raw dough is brushed with water on one side and then stuck to the side of a tandoor oven. Once completely cooked, naan falls off the wall, which is then picked out with tongs and served hot. Five culture recipe plain culture recipe butter culture on tawa dot basically a type of flat bread recipe prepared mainly with all purpose flour and flavored with black sesame seeds it is a variation to the popular non recipe or non bread and hails from the punjabi cuisine plain culture recipe is also a popular street food of punjab and is mainly served with matter culture or matter chole recipe dot culture non recipe culture non recipe plain culture recipe butter culture on tawa with step by step photo and video recipe in punjab plain culture recipe is often served with matter chole recipe which is prepared with white peas the combination of these two is often served for breakfast or for evening snacks as a street food the preparation of culture non recipe is very simple an all-purpose flour or mita flour is used to prepare the dough. The dough can be mixed with warm water or milk or even yogurt to prepare a tight dough. While kneading the dough leavening agent like baking powder, yeast or even old culture dough is added for fermentation. Later it rolled thick either with help of hand or with a rolling pin. The shape is usually oval, but can also be round or even square. Later it is dusted with sesame seeds on one side and baked in tandoor oven. Having said that I had used normal tawa using the upside down method. Once it is cooked or baked, generous amount of butter or ghee is applied on top it to keep it moist. Culture non recipe while, the preparation of plain culture is very simple, yet some tips and suggestions for a perfect culture non recipe. Firstly, I would heavily recommend to use curd yogurt to knead the dough. Basically it helps to hasten the fermentation with better result. However ignore and use warm water if you are lactose intolerant. Secondly, as alternative you can use wheat flour in the place of mitre or all-purpose flour, if you are gluten allergic. But I personally feel mitre is any time a better option. Lastly, serve these cultures immediately when it is hot warm. It turns out to be rubbery and chewy when served cold. 6 Appam is one of our favorite breakfast combination, and once in a month I make appams on weekends. The preparation is like making a dose of batter, and needs some prep work beforehand. This appam recipe is made with yeast. Traditionally appam are fermented with toddy, which is a local alcoholic drink made from from palm flour or coconut flour. Toddy is also known as kalu both in Tamil and Malayalam. In Hindi it's called as toddy. Since toddy is not available everywhere easily, dry active yeast works as a good substitute. This does not mean that you cannot make appams without yeast. Appam can be made without yeast too, and I have shared this version here no yeast appam. The appam made with toddy tastes differently than the appam made with yeast. To make these appam, I have added fresh grated coconut, while grinding the batter instead of coconut milk. You can use coconut milk instead of grated coconut, about 1 cup thick coconut milk would suffice. I have added the yeast directly while grinding, as the grinder gets warmed up while grinding the batter. But you can prove the yeast first, and then add it to the batter later. Appams are served with vegetable stew, kadala curry, chickpea curry, potato stew, vegetable korma, coconut chutney or sweetened milk. I also make sweet coconut milk that goes very well with appam. The coconut milk is sweetened with jaggery and flavored with cardamom powder. Just take required amount of thick coconut milk. Add powder jaggery is required along with a bit of cardamom powder. Stir very well until the jaggery is dissolved and serve this wheat coconut milk with the appam. 7 Batura Recipe Punjabi Batcher Recipe with dot batcher is basically a large puri served with chickpea curry, chol, or chan. This is an exotic Punjabi cuisine delicacy, but very popular throughout India. Batcher is prepared from mixing maida, yogurt into fermentation agent. Traditionally, yeast was used as fermenting agent. However it is now replaced with baking soda and baking powder. While, I am huge fan of puri bhaji recipe, batura that consume it for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Whenever we plan for outdoor dinners in any Punjabi restaurant, chol batcher is always on the order menu. Gradually, even I have started to like it. Perhaps the combination of chol masala, and deep fried batura makes it an exotic recipe. Batura for chol batura. Furthermore, I would like to share some tips and tricks for perfect, fluffy batura recipe. To get a perfect shape, kneading the dough is very critical. I have kneaded the dough for almost 8 to 10 minutes continuously. Also, I have added 1 tablespoon of rava while mixing the dough. Rava helps to get a crispy batcher after deep frying. 
Lastly, I would highly recommend to use sour curd or yogurt. Sourness would hasten the fermentation process, and the dough would be extra soft. 8. Purin Poli Recipe How to Make Purin Poli Maharashtri and Purin Poli with Step-by-Step -step Photo and Video Recipe Indian sweets are mainly targeted and prepared during the festival seasons like Holi, Diwali and Ganesh Chaturthi. Moreover each state has its delicacy and sweets recipe dedicated for each occasions and celebrations. Purin Poli recipe hails from the Marathi cuisine, and is typically made for Holi and Diwali. There are many versions of Poli recipes, and I have already posted two versions of it. Both these two versions belongs to Karnataka cuisine, and is mainly made with Maida plain flour with chana dal and coconut stuffing. But this version is completely different, and I have made it with a combination of wheat and plain flour. At first, you may easily get confused with any Pertha recipe or Dal Pertha recipe. The texture and appearance is very similar, but differs with stuffing. In addition, while the Poli recipe from my home state Karnataka is more sweet, and thin compared to the Maharashtrian version of Purin Poli. And hence, it may also be served for breakfast, and not just limiting as a dessert recipe. Purin Poli recipe for more some tips, suggestions, and recommendations for a perfect Purin Poli recipe. I have used the combination of wheat flour and maida in a 2 1 half ratio which gives a perfect texture to poli. Having said that, it can also be prepared with just wheat flour or maida flour. Secondly, once the chana dal is cooked with jaggery, pass it through sieve to mash it uniformly. I would not recommend to use the masher to mash it as it may be uneven. Lastly, the polis can be stored and preserved for 1 to 2 weeks in refrigerator, while serving heated in microwave or in pan for 60 to 90 secs. 9. How to make stuffed shirmal with honey glaze Step 1. Prepare a dough in a bowl Add flour, ghee, salt, and milk. Knead to form a stiff dough, and then keep aside for an hour. In the meantime, place a pan over medium flame, and add koya in it. Once it melts, transfer it to a bowl, and add 1 teaspoon of sugar, and 2 tablespoons of chopped dry fruits. Mix all the ingredients well, and keep this aside. Step 2. Make sugar syrup next. Place a pan with water over medium flame, and let it come to a boil. Now, add 1 cup of sugar, and stir it to get a thick syrup-like consistency. Next, add star anise, and give it a stir. Once you can smell the ingredients, remove from the flame and mix 2 tablespoons of honey. Now, let it cool for some time. Step 3. Roll out the dough and stuff it. No, take the dough and form small equal-sized balls. Using a rolling pin, roll out the balls, and fill them with koya stuffing. Next, heat the tandoor and place the stuffed radis into it. Cook these until they become crispy. Once done, take them out from the tandoor, and transfer them onto a platter. In the meantime, in a bowl, add saffron strands, and mix it with 4 tablespoons of milk. Step 4 Smear some honey glaze Pour this saffron milk over the ready perthas, and top it up with honey glaze syrup and remaining dry fruits. Serve hot and enjoy. Make sure you try this recipe, rate it and leave your comments in the section below. 10. How to make Bakrakani Step 1. To prepare this delicious recipe, sieve together flour, baking powder and salt in a bowl. In a separate baking bowl, add milk along with sugar and heat in the microwave until the sugar melts. Remove from heat and allow it to cool. Step 2. Place yeast in another bowl, add 60 milliliters of warm water, and set aside to dissolve for 5 minutes. Soak raisins and shiranji in a cup warm water, and then set aside for 5 to 10 minutes. Step 3 Add sweetened milk, cure it and dissolved yeast to the flour, and make a soft dough. Cover the dough with a wet cloth to maintain its moisture, and set aside for 20 minutes. Step 4 After that, add 3 tablespoons of melted ghee to the dough. Add the soaked almonds, raisins and shiranji, and knead well. Cover and keep it in a warm place for 30 minutes to allow the dough to rise. Step 5 Preheat the oven to 464 degrees Fahrenheit, 240 degrees Celsius. Divide the dough into equal parts and make balls. Cover and set aside for 10 minutes. Step 6 Flatten balls and roll them out. Prick the entire surface with a fork or knife. Put them on a baking tray and bake in the oven for 11 to 13 minutes. Step 7 Remove from oven and allow it to come to the room temperature. Brush the bacarcanus with remaining ghee and serve. 12. Parada with Vegetable Sauna The soft and flaky parada, also known as barada or parada, is popular in the southern states of Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. It is a common sight to find crowds thronging the roadside stalls, where heaps of layered paradas hot off the stove, are served with a curry both for breakfast and evening tiffin or dinner. 
This popular street food fare is usually served with salna or kurma. The side dish with paradas include both vegetarian and non-vegetarian style gravy dishes. There are numerous avatars of parada, where the shape and accompaniments vary from region to region. Kerala or Malabar parada is usually served with vegetable, chicken, egg, beef and mutton curries, while in Tamil Nadu, it is served with either vegetable salna or chicken salna. Parada dough stretched parada dough pleated parada dough stretched into a thin sheet and pleated into a long strip. Usually I do not make parada at home, and it is only during our travels that I get to relish parada, kathu parada and the likes. I used to watch how the parada master would churn out hundreds of paradas with such ease. The parada making process involves the mixing of the dough, slithering the dough with a generous amount of oil, resting it, pinching off tennis, sized balls from the dough, where each of these balls is flattened and deftly tossed in the air, to create a super thin translucent layer that is pleated into a long thick strip which is then coiled into a circle like a rosette. Parada rolled to be rested brothers and rolled out paradas ready to be fried hot off the stove parada with salad the rosettes are drizzled with more oil and rolled out into slightly thick concentric radis, and fried on a hot tawa till golden brown. Once the parada is fried, the parada master would place a couple of paradas on a flat surface, and use both his hands to crush them together, clapping action, to open up the layers of the parada. These layered paradas are served with hot salna or karuma. I am posting an eggless parada recipe where maida, salt, oil, and water are the only ingredients that go into the making of the parada dough. Those of you who want to learn how to make parada at home, but are intimidated by the process of making them, let me tell you, that it takes one or two attempts, to make a fairly good parada. It takes some patience and practice to achieve a perfect parada. Keep in mind, the key is to shape the oily dough as thin as possible, and it's alright to have a couple of tears here and there. Always keep the dough balls well greased and covered with a damp cloth, so that they do not dry out. I adapted this parada recipe which also has a great photo tutorial on how to make parada. 13 Lakka Parathoth is flaky crispy Paratha variant is also called as Lachitar Paratha or Paratwala Paratha. In Punjabi language Paratar Lacha means layer and layers can be seen on the Paratha when it gets cooked. The South Indian variation of this Lakka Paratha is Parada which is made from all-purpose flour and is a specialty of Malabar cuisine. The Malabar Parada is more softer than Lakka Paratha due to the all-purpose flour. Lacha Paratha is usually made with whole wheat flour. Although you can include some all-purpose flour in the dough. In some restaurants, they use a mix of both these flours. But while making at home I recommend using whole wheat flour. Lacha Paratha is an easy Paratha to make. To get these layers the dough is folded and pleated many times. There are some techniques to get the multiple layers. I am sharing the method which I use often. I make the lacca parathas using this technique that I have shown in the stepwise photos. This method works for me greatly and I find it simple and easy. I use the same technique to make the pudina paratha, layered flatbread flavored with mint and spices. I usually roll the paratha to medium thickness. But if you make them more thick then more layers will be visible, but then you have to cook the paratha really very well, so that it is not left uncooked from inside. Sometimes the paratha served in restaurants is so thick that it has many layers but uncooked from inside. You can actually taste the uncooked dough. Ensure that the paratha are roasted really well, and do not roll them very thick. Serve the lack of paratha hot with any vegetable curry like aloo matter, veg kadai, veg handier with paneer curry recipes like paneer butter masala, matter paneer, kadai paneer, paneer makanier with mango pickle. Don't serve them cold. They have to be eaten when they are hot, or warm for best taste and texture. 14 Roti Chapati so this will vary in different parts of the country. At my home, it was first rolled and cooked on tawa until cooked slightly, and then put on direct flame until it puffs. But at a lot of people I know, including my mother, cook it all on the tawa. She simply uses a cloth to puff the roti directly on the tawa. Both ways are fine, it's just what you are used to. I usually puff it directly on flame, since I like the taste better, that way or maybe it's because my taste buds are just more used to that taste of the bread cooked on direct flame. 15 Bakri is a round flat unleavened bread often used in the cuisine of the state of mainly Maharashtra, but also in Gujarat, Goa etc. in India, but is also common in western and central India, especially in the states of Rajasthan, Mawa, Goa, and Karnataka. It is coarser than a roti. It can be either soft or hard in texture, similar to kakra in respect to hardness. 
When I want to serve bakri with masala chai, Indian tea, I make little crispy, but if I wish to serve with sabji, I make it soft out from the bakri dough, purees can be prepared as well, so I usually keep variety of dough in my refrigerator, to prepare bakri or puree quickly. Being a staple bread, bakri is served with curd, chutney, bangan barda, vegetables, and rice, it is made mostly from wheat flour, jowar flour, bajra flour, nachni, or finger millet, flour, and even rice flour, in the Konkan region. Bakras are made primarily with hot water, and flour. It has traditionally been the farmer's food which would be carried to the farm at the crack of dawn and make up for both breakfast, and lunch. I end the fields, bakri even used to serve as a plate, on which chutney or thecha, chutney made of green chilies and peanuts, was served and eaten together. In modern days, bakri has been largely replaced by radas and fulkas, but still enjoys its own following. Typically bakri is accompanied by pitla, a stew of gram flour, but it may also be served with curry, garlic chutney, thecha, a thick paste of green or red chilies, preparations of green leafy vegetables and raw onion. In some parts of North Karnataka it is served with stuffed brinjal curry. To prepare bakri, the wheat jowar flour is taken, mixed with small amount of salt in a bowl, and knead into a smooth stiff dough, using enough hot water. The roti is spread using the palm, or rolled on rolling board using rolling pin. There are two types by which is made. It is either spread in the plate by palm by pressing, or it is made thin, by holding bakri in two hands which required lot of skill. The tava is heated, and the bakri is cooked applying little water to the upper surface, and spread it all over with the help of your fingers. The other side also cooked on tawa once it is prepared, it is roasted in the direct flame on both the sides. Since bakri is our family staple diet, I prepare a variety of bakris, e.g. plain, masala, with herbs or veggies, and so on. I also love sweet bakri made with jaggery, known as gur bakri. These days, I am trying to cut down on wheat, so I add other flours like oat, quinoa, almond, coconut and some other healthier options like flax meal. Below you can watch all my videos of bakris made with different flavors. 16 Tandoori Roti In every Indian household, roti, naan, and kulcha is the staple food. Whether it is curry or dal, they taste great with any of them. There are many types of Indian bread, tandoori roti is one of them. Tandoori roti is a very popular Indian flatbread recipe. It is traditionally made in tandoor a round clay oven, at a high temperature. But since not all of us have tandoors, I am sharing how you can make it without an oven, on the stovetop using tawa griddle. These homemade tandoori radis are thick, all is served with ghee butter on top. This roti is enriched with dietary fiber, proteins, iron, potassium, and minerals. Whenever we go out for dinner in the Indian restaurants, we all end up ordering either naan or tandoori roti to go with our curry, and dal. Making tandoori roti at home is not a difficult task. It is very easy to make and you don't need any fancy utensils equipment. All you need is the cast iron tawa, a pair of tongs, and a rack, that can be kept on the gas stove or electric stove. This recipe is my Mills recipe, and you guys it's a no-fail recipe and tastes heavenly, good the texture of the roti is soft and not chewy at all. Serving garlic roti with curry ingredients are equired note measurements are given in recipe card this recipe roti is made off flour. I have used both whole wheat flour, and all-purpose flour here. You can use only whole wheat flour too. My preferred brand of whole wheat, here in US, is Zujata Gold Added. Yogurt, the addition of curd gives the softness to the roti. Oil gives bit crisp texture sugar and salt, for the taste leavening agents, I use baking powder and baking soda, to puff this bread up a bit when we cook it. This make the roti light. Gear butter for brushing the top. 17 How to make dal body Step 1 Knead the dough for the batisto Prepare the bodice, take a glass bowl, and add wheat flour with rawa salt and ghee. Using your hands, knead a very stiff dough with warm water. Shape the dough in the size of a ping-pong ball. Meanwhile, heat a gas tandoor and roast the dough balls on low heat for some time. Make sure they are brown, and crusty. Step 2 Prepare the dolphin, break open from the top, and pour some fresh ghee on the halves. Then to prepare the dal, wash all the dolls together add 1 cup water, and a quarter teaspoon of turmeric. Pressure cook the dolls till 2 whistles. Allow the cooker to cool, and remove the dal. Step 3 Temper the spices Mix all the spice powders in a half cup of water, to make a thin paste. Put ghee in a pan over medium flame, add the cumin and coriander seeds. Once they splutter, add ginger. 
Then, add the paste of spice powders and fry for a minute, add the cooked dal. Step 4 Garnish the dal with lemon juice and coriander leaves then add the remaining water and stir well. Bring it to a boil. To get that extra zing, add lemon juice in it. Check and add salt if required. Garnish with chopped coriander. Serve hot with freshly prepared bodas and all. 18 How to make Liddy Chalk It is the 1 p.m. Mata's favorite recipe Prepare dough for Liddy Filter the flour and keep it in a utensil. Put ghee, baking soda, ajwain and salt in flour then mix well. Beat curd and put it in flour as well. Knead a soft dough using warm water. Cover the dough and keep aside for 30 minutes. Dough required to make Liddy is ready. HOW to make stuffing for Liddy Wash, peel and finely chop GINGER. You can also grate it. Break the stems of the green chilies, wash then finely chop them. Clean green coriander, wash then finely chop the leaves. Take out sadhu in a utensil put chopped ginger, green chilies, coriander, lemon juice, salt, jeera, ajwain, mustard oil and pickle spices in it. Mix all the ingredients properly, if the pity seems dry then add 1 to 2 spoons of water to it, sadhu pity is ready. 19 Kachori Recipe, one of the most loved Indian snacks, dal kachori is absolutely sensational. Kachoris are deep fried breads made with ground dal sauteed along with spices, and filled into a cover of maida and baking powder. This is the most popular roadside snack that you find across North India, especially parts of Rajasthan. Kachoris have a number of varieties, most popular ones being Kasta Kachori and Dal Kachori. Super crisp, flaky and utterly delicious, kachuris are the ultimate snack or midday meal, that you just won't be able to resist ingredients of dal kachori recipe kachodi recipe, arar dal sauteed with spices and herbs like garam masala, chili powder, couscous and coconut and mixed with tamarind and a pinch of sugar. Deep fried in oil, these crispy dal kachuris are perfect for tea time munchings. Min chutney can be a perfect companion. 20 Thalapath is very authentic and traditional one native to Maharashtrian or Marathi cuisine. Perhaps this recipe is the most request recipe, and it was long overdue, because of the ingredients. Basically, I was not able to get the key ingredient i.e. fresh badger flour in my place here. Unfortunately, whenever I plan to shop it, it was either out of stock, or almost expired with stale flour. Eventually, it got delayed, and I had to wait till it matched my shopping date. But luckily I was able to get hold of it this Easter holiday, during my recent trip to Sydney. HOW to make thalapath While the thalapath recipe is very easy to prepare, yet some tips, recommendations and serving ideas for it. Firstly, I have added onions to this recipe, and hence cannot be used for brat, or as fasting recipe. But it is not mandatory, and can be easily skipped, if you not like to. Secondly, thalapath is generally served with plain yogurt curd with either fresh butter or pickle as a side dish. Alternatively, you can also serve these with any choice of curries like sprouts masala, bangan barter or stuffed eggplant curry. Lastly, you can prepare the flour mixer akabajani flour well ahead in advance for future use. Basically, the proportions would be the same used in the recipe. 21 Make soft thepla The key thing to remember when making soft gujarati thepla at home is that the dough must be soft. Unlike puri making, the thepla dough needs to be bound with sufficient water and oil. Some cooks also add plain yogurt, dahi, to the dough for added richness. Tips for making the softest gujarati thepla I like to use a combination of warm water and warm almond milk to bind my dough. This is not traditional, but my way of ensuring my thepla are super soft and delicious. Using almond milk also means these thepla are vegan due to the lack of yogurt used to bind the dough. Another ingredient I like to add to help achieve this is chickpea flour. Once roasted, the chickpea flour also gives these thepla an incredible toasty flavor. 22 Taftan recipe is a leaven bread that is famous from Persian, Pakistani, and Uttar Pradesh. The bread is made from milk, yogurt, and eggs. The bread is then sometimes flavored with saffron cardamom as well. It is then topped with kalanji seeds, and baked in the oven till golden brown. Note, I have over the years noticed, that the flour, that is used, is very important to get the right texture. The more fresh the flour the better the bread, the more the flour has sat in your flour box or an open packet, the less fresh it feels. The flours also differ from region to region, so it takes time getting used to a flour, and before you know and get adapted to the new flour. Serve the Persian style taftan recipe along with Korsht Visenjan recipe and mint and pomegranate rider recipe.